Good day, everybody, and welcome back to Daily Devotions. Our daily devotion for today, Friday, August the 20th, comes to us, as it did yesterday, from the Gospel of John. We're going to be looking at John chapter 6, verses 56 to 69. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate, and they died. But the one who eats this bread will live forever. He said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum. When many of his disciples heard it, they said, This teaching is difficult. Who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But among you there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew that the first who were the ones that did not believe and who was the one that would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by the Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back, and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, Do you wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. When we deal with life, we always seem to have good reasons for why we do what we do. We go to school to get a job. We get a job to earn a living. We do things for fun, for love, or for health. Those reasons we go to for why we do things have a way of becoming our God if we trust in them to give us life. Yet often, the very things we seek after for security end up accusing us, judging us, and condemning us to death. Jesus offers us something quite different. He gives us himself to eat, to take into himself. He promises us that he will deal with our lives by using mercy and resurrection. Yes, he dies to do that for us. And then he rises from death too. Where shall we go to find such a reason for what we do that raises us from death? Where shall we go to find relief from judgment in death? We go to Jesus, our crucified and risen Lord, and we are not disappointed. Let us pray. Father of life, fill our hearts with Jesus, that he becomes the reason we do things. Let him be our forgiver, the one who raises us from death. Let us live as those who forgive. Amen. Grace and peace be with you today and every day. Have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you back here on Monday. Be well.